This screencast illustrates navigation of a psychrometric chart and extraction of key information from the chart. There are seven pieces of information that can be extracted from a psychrometric chart. Given any two of these, the point on the chart is fixed and you can obtain the other five parameters. If you practice a little using this dynamic simulation, you should be able to successfully utilize these charts to solve mass and energy balance and separations problems. We will start with the basics. I've hidden many of the lines on the chart initially, so it's not too intimidating to read values from the chart. The x-axis of the chart is the dry bulb temperature, and the y-axis, which is on the right side of the screen, is the absolute humidity or moisture content. The moisture content has units of mass of moisture per mass of dry air. For the black cursor, the moisture content is 0.003 kilograms of water per kilogram of dry air. I will now start adding details to the chart. First, we will show the percent relative humidity. We are at a low 10% RH for these conditions. Relative humidity varies between 0 and 100%. The saturation line is the curved line on the left of the plot and represents 100% RH. The next parameter to be added is the enthalpy. The enthalpy lines have a negative slope of approximately negative 30 degrees from horizontal. The enthalpy is in units of kilojoules per kilogram of dry air and is strictly just for the saturated conditions. When the percent RH is less than 100%, there are small corrections that must be made using enthalpy deviation lines. For this simple dynamic simulation, the enthalpy deviation lines will not be shown to avoid too much clutter. Specific volume is the next variable that will be shown on the plot. First, I will hide the enthalpy values. Specific volume has units of volume per mass of dry air or cubic meters per kilogram of dry air for this plot. The lines are close to vertical and have a negative slope. There are three temperatures that can be obtained from a psychrometric chart. As noted previously, the values on the bottom axis are the dry bulb temperature. A vertical line dropped from the black dot indicated that the dry bulb temperature is 33 degrees C. The other two temperatures are now shown on the chart. To obtain the dew point, first draw a horizontal line or constant moisture content until you hit the saturation curve. For our cursor, we'll move to the left. Some scales have temperatures along the saturation curve, but you can always drop a vertical line once you get to the saturation curve down to the x-axis to read the temperature. In this case, the dew point is negative 3 degrees C. The wet bulb temperature is obtained by following the same lines we use to evaluate the enthalpy. These lines are called adiabatic saturation lines. Follow this line until it hits the saturation curve and then drop a vertical to read the temperature. For this case, the wet bulb is equal to 15 degrees C. We will now use the dynamic features of the simulation to evaluate changes in the relative humidity and dry bulb temperature. As the percent RH is increased at constant dry bulb temperature, the point moves vertically on the chart increasing in moisture content until we reach the saturation curve. If more moisture is added to the system, it will condense. The impact of varying the dry bulb temperature can be observed by setting the cursor in the middle of the chart and moving the dry bulb temperature slider. For a fixed percent RH, the cursor will ride in between the curved lines, increasing in moisture content as the dry bulb temperature is increased. Please use the features of this dynamic simulation to familiarize yourself with the various methods to obtain information from a psychrometric chart. Once you are comfortable with this chart, challenge yourself to get data from other charts that are in both SI and English units and that are information dense. You will soon be the master of utilizing these charts to solve mass and energy balance and separations problems.